Feels like a good grouper. Trying to beat the rocks. Oh man, I'm out done. Oh, good fish though. Here. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh my God, it's a giant. Holy giant. Welcome back to Naughty Life. My name is Alex. My wife Jill and I make fishing, boating, lifestyle videos, everything to do on and off the water here in Southwest Florida. And today we're taking the bait that we caught using our DIY budget bay chum and we're gonna do some fishing. Now what I like to do uh, before leaving any bait spot is actually throw one of the baits back in the area because generally if there's bait fish, there's typically going to be predatory fish that are hanging out around the area. So we're gonna rig up one of our poles with one of the pinfish that we caught. We're gonna to toss it. We're gonna to stay here for about 10, 15 minutes. And if we don't get anything, we're gonna to move to our, our next spot. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video and we'll get into it. It's great to have you here. So this is the rig we're gonna be using today. It's called a fish finder rig. Essentially what it is, is we've got a 4-0 circle hook. We've got about three or four feet of 40 pound fluorocarbon cigar leader. We have about an 80 pound swivel and then uh, a little bead with a two ounce egg sinker above the swivel on the main line. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook the pinfish behind its ale fin. Uh, you can leave the tail on, cut the tail off, whatever you decide you'd like to do. If you cut the tail off, there's gonna be more blood that goes into the water. Um, and we're gonna just cast it out into the current. That egg weight is gonna sit on the bottom and it's gonna allow this fish to swim freely and uh, get out in the current. And hopefully that's gonna attract a predatory fish in and we'll get something on the line. While that's out there, we're gonna be throwing around another uh, paddle tail, which we'll show you that rigged up here in just a second. Let's get this pinfish on. Big boy. All right, so we've got that thrown out there. Now we're gonna just let it sit. We've got the, uh, the uh, drag backed off a little bit, so if something does pick it up, it'll be able to run with it a little bit. And now we are going to rig up the other pole. It is a quarter ounce white jig head. Uh, I believe that's a th size three or four hook. And then we just have a DOA white, I believe these glow in the dark too, uh, paddle tail and we're gonna be putting some of the secret sauce, some mullet procure on this bad boy, and we're just gonna toss them around this flat. Now, this has been really productive if you've seen any of our other videos. If we've got you know, people from out of town that are coming and fishing with us, this is typically what we're gonna throw because we've caught jacks, trout, snook, redfish, pretty much everything will eat a white swim bait almost all times of the year. Uh, the only Better bait is really a live shrimp during the winter time behind a popping cork, and you know this still almost outbeats that. So we're gonna put the uh, chest strap on now, and we're gonna toss around here for a few minutes uh, while we see if we get any bites on this pinfish. And if not, we're gonna move. We like to stay in an area for about 15, uh, 20 minutes. Uh, if there's no activity, we're gonna bounce to a new spot because you know we're doing this out on the weekends. We want to make sure we're catching fish. So you're not gonna stay in a spot that's not producing. We're gonna get this chest strap on, we're gonna throw this bad boy, and we're gonna get going. All right, so we downsized a little bit. Got a little grunt here. Gonna pull up with the trolling motor. Let's see if anything's in there. I'm just throwing this guy out into the current, letting him drift past these pilings on this dock. If there's anything there, you should get picked up pretty quick. Got a 4-0 circle hook into his back just behind the dorsal fin, and what that causes them to do is swim down and away from the boat. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, there's a fish. Good fish. Good fish. Oh yeah. Feels like a good grouper. Trying to be in the rocks. Oh no, I'm outgunned. I am outgunned. <sighs> Guys, that was a good fish. Man. Broke me off with the knot. Shoot. Alright, we're gonna retie with the heavier pole and throw another pinfish in there because that was a good fish. All right, so unfortunately, as soon as that fish picked it up, I knew we were gonna be outgunned. So we've got the big pole, big pole now. This is our 40 pound braid. This is the Bet Pen Battle 3, 5,000 size reel. We got 40 pound braid on here. We got a uh, 40 pound leader and a 5-0 hook. So this hook's a little bit big for this bait, but if we can get picked up again, uh, we're definitely gonna be in a better position to fight that fish out. That was a, a good fish, whatever it was. So let's see if they'll eat again. Man, that was super exciting regardless. Got the uh, swivel stuck in the eyes there, so it was kind of a bad cast, but. Uh, it felt like a, a grouper, but it could have been a really good sized snook or a decent jack. Out here in this current, with this drop off, you don't really know. Oh man, that's such a bummer. That was a great fish. But that's all part of fishing. You never know what's gonna happen. It's a good spot. All right, so we're back out here. We've got our heavier tackle. We're gonna go for revenge on whatever broke us off the other day. Live pinfish. Skip them on out there. Drag's locked down. Let's see what we can get. All right, we're also I'm gonna throw a nice piece of cut bait out because this is like redfish candy. So we're gonna come through, just hook it like so. And I'm gonna throw that out with a little sinker up in this flat while we cast around the live bait. I was messing with the GoPro, got something back here on the cut bait. Let's see if it's still there. Oh yeah, still on. Could be a catfish out here, not sure what it is. Oh, good fish though. This is awesome. And that was just sitting back out, that was just sitting back there while we were waiting on swimming right at me. It's a decent fish. Oh, breaking water. What do we got here? Could be a little snook, maybe a little redfish. Cut bait might be the uh, choice today. Oh, barracuda. Holy mackerel. Decent size barracuda on a cut bait. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Try to get him up in the boat. A barracuda on cut bait. Look at that. Good size cuda. I'm going to switch this over to the. Uh, Freak out here for a second. Look at that. Nice barracuda. Look at the chompers on this sucker. Get a quick measurement on and then release. 22 and a half inch cuda. Still a pretty cool catch. Nice little fight. Let's get him back. Later, skater. He gone. We got the skunk off the boat. Let's get another one. 
All right, so that was pretty cool. Got that nice barracuda, cool fight. Got moved, uh, adjusted spots a little bit. And now we are going to continue. We've got a little pinfish on here, hooked through the top of the mouth. We've got the cut pinfish out there. That's what's great about catching your own live bait. Once it's uh, no longer live bait, you can use this cut bait. Oh, I hope I got that on film. Oh no. Oh yeah. Is it on? Shoot, something picked it up. Dang it, right away, immediately. I don't know what happened, the circle hook just didn't do its job. Let's see if we can pick it up, pick it up again. It was immediate. Crushed, the, crushed it. I bet you it's a redfish in there. Let's try to get up there again. All right, so it's gotten a little bit later in the day, getting a little bit warmer. So we switched both poles to cut bait. So now we're just doing good old hangout fishing. We're gonna grab a little bit of lunch. We unfortunately had another fish break us off uh, because I was messing around putting the pinfish in the other bucket. So hopefully we can get some action here. I feel pretty good about the spot. There's a nice little ledge right along this, uh, this mangrove line. So we should uh, be in a pretty good spot. Oh, got some action here. There it is. Get out of the mangrove. Come on. Good fish. Come on. Come on, baby. No, oh, get out of there. Get out of there. I'm gonna have to muscle him out. This is a good fish. Looks like a good snook on a cut bait. Good fish, y'all. Oh shit. Don't get tangled in my other line. No, 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 no. Come on this way. Come on this way. Get out of there. Oh my. Good snook. Real good snook. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh my. This is a huge fish. Huge snook. Huge snook. Huge snook. Oh my god. It's a giant. Holy giant. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh my. Don't come off. Oh my god. It's gonna come off. It's barely hooked. It's barely hooked. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at the size of this snook! Oh my god! Look at this thing! Look at that! Yo! Oh my goodness! On cut bait! Look at it! Oh my gosh! Dude! This is a 38! 38 inch snook! Oh my God. Look at this. Oh my God. Look at the size of the snook. Absolute beauty. This is what you come to Southwest Florida for. Look at how thick this thing is. Oh my God. I'm gonna get a release on this bad boy. Oh my goodness. Y'all, that is an absolute monster of a snook i cannot believe we just hooked into that on cut bait this is incredible i'm gonna throw out another piece freaking awesome this is what it's all about like comment subscribe just for that fish i let him go i revived him he swam off no problem what an absolute monster breeder snook let's get another one it's so awesome all right perfect opportunity here to talk about the gear that we're using because if i was using anything else that fish would have pulled me into the mangroves and I would have been absolutely toast. What's crazy is those bigger fish at this time of year when it's hot will eat that cut bait over a live pinfish because they're just lazy. So he absolutely crushed it. So what I had was just a piece of cut pinfish. This is a 4-0 circle hook. I've got about, I'm all tangled here. I've got about three to four feet of 40 pound 
fluorocarbon leader. I've got that tied to like an 80 pound swivel directly onto my main braid, which is a 40 pound Power Pro braid. And then I've got uh, my rod uh, and reel is the Pen Battle 3 5000. And this is just the Pen Battle 3 medium heavy fast action rod that comes in the combo. So you can get this combo from like West Marine Bass Pro. And it did the trick. Uh, he frayed me up pretty darn good. Uh, so I'm gonna cut part of this. One thing you have to know with Snook is because of their gill plates and because they're going up in the mangroves, they'll actually fray this leader. And so if you hook into another fish, it's more likely to break. So I'm gonna cut this about six inches up. I'm gonna retie and we're gonna throw one out there. Let's get a like and subscribe for that. That was awesome. That is literally what you come out here to target here in Southwest Florida. So stoked, so glad you guys were along for that. Oh, we got another one. I was just reeling in this bait. I think it's just a catfish though. Doesn't even know it's hooked. Swimming like a catfish. Catfish. Oh. Trash. It's all right. Oh, he swallowed it too. Dang it. You dummy. I just retied this. All right, we're going to get this one off. All right, so as you can see, we've got some weather coming in behind us. We caught that barracuda. We caught that absolute donkey of a snook uh, on the cut bait here today. So as you can see, you know, you can catch the pinfish, you can use them live, you can use them as cut bait. It really depends on the time of year. Uh, so, you know, learn your bait spots, catch your bait in the morning, use that fresh bait, and also save the bait, put it in the freezer so that you can use it as cut bait because that'll save you some time. You know, we could have come out today with some stuff that we had in the freezer cut it up and thrown it out and probably had some similar results, but that was an awesome day. We hope you enjoyed this adventure. Uh, we definitely redeemed ourselves with that snook after getting broken off, you know, several times, more than you even saw in the video, but hey, that's fishing. Give us a like, comment, subscribe. If you like these fishing videos, if you like the tutorials, let us know what you guys are into and uh, we'll try to tailor some more content uh, for you all. Uh, we really appreciate you tuning in. Life short, live naughty. We'll catch you in the next one.